In this video, we're going to talk about the Tools menu in the admin area. It's right over here near the bottom. And if you simply click it, it takes you to the Available Tools page. Now this page comes with two tools on it, but plugins can add tools to this area. So as you add plugins to your site, be sure to look at the Tools menu to see if they've added any tools here. The first tool we want to look at is called Press This. Press This allows you to add a bookmark to your browser's bookmark bar, and then click it to add the current site to your WordPress site. Let's see how it works. You can simply grab this and drag it to your bookmarks bar. If you can't drag it, you can manually add a bookmark and put in this URL. And if you're using mobile, you can simply click this button. But let's see how it works. I'm going to go to herepress.com and click Press This. And it opens a new tab with a WordPress editor. We have some light HTML editing options here. It grabs some text from the page and links to the source. And then it's aware of these images. And you can click the little plus here to add one or both or whatever to your post. You can switch back and forth between visual and text. Up here on the right, you can choose a format, put it in categories or tags. And in the bottom left here, you can work with your media. And then, when you're ready, you can save as draft, standard editor, preview, or simply publish. I'm not going to publish because I don't want to add this to our news in Wordville. But this tool can help you blog about sites you find on the internet. It can help you make a notated archive of places you've been. Below that is the Tags and Categories Converter. Imagine for a moment that you've started blogging and you use a lot of tags but not categories and suddenly realize you really wanted those to all be categories. This tool allows you to switch them back and forth so you can take all your tags and make them categories or all your categories and make them tags. Next we have the import screen. This allows you to import content from other sites. Now what it's actually doing is linking to plugins that let you do that. So you would install the Blogger plugin if you wanted to import from Blogger. And a blog role. And there's the categories and tags converter. There's live journal, movable type and type pad, RSS, Tumblr, and WordPress. So this is really for moving content from another existing system into your WordPress site. Given that WordPress is one of them, it's actually a reasonable way to move your content from one WordPress site to another. Now keep in mind that it only does the things listed here. Posts, pages, comments, custom fields, categories, and tags. So it doesn't do your theme, it doesn't do any of your settings or any of that. This is a content importer. If we go to export, you can choose to export your content and you can choose only some parts of it. This is what you could use to import on another WordPress site. Now, for the technically savvy, I want to point out that this is not a database dump. What you get is XML. So you can't simply import it into your database tool. You have to import it via the WordPress importer. Now, I mentioned that plugins can add things to the tools area. Normally, what I've shown you is all there is, but I have a beta testing add-on as well. And this allows me to get the latest version of WordPress, even later than what's actually released. As you add more and more plugins, your tools area may expand. So keep an eye on what's there and what's available to you.